Oh, well. <laughs> When you guys turn me down, I just go and sit in the library and be quiet. That's good. That's good. (laughs) I just pressed record so we get some pre-game banter in as well. Lols. Top bants. It's for the bonus content for our Patreon subscribers. Yes, the the second YouTube channel. You can put a hashtag hilarious on the video now, Greg. Yeah. The Archbishop of Banterbury himself, Greg Holmes. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) you're welcome i'm supposed to take it too far (laughs) i'm just lending you a helping hand god shit this sound is absolute dog um well i'm ready i'll I'll take my turn when we're going okay ben's mullen i took my free mulligan and i'm keeping so okay Cool. I'll, I will draw. I will play an Is It Guild Gate and say go. Cool. I'm going to draw. Uh, is it me? No, it's to Connor, then Sam, then you, Ben. Lucky Ben gets to go last. Oh, we're going anti clockwise. You're just confusing me. I don't know. Yeah, might, what? <laughs> might be your screen is. No, no, that is anti clockwise for me as well. Uh, it's clockwise for me. I've got, I'm top left, then you, Sam, then Ben, bottom right, and then Greg, bottom left. Same for me. Ah, uh, see, me and Greg are in different, the opposite positions <laughs> on mine. Oh, well, it sounds uh, like your problem. Greg, top right. But yeah. Yeah. Well, me and Ben me, have the same screen. Well, me and Greg have the same screen, and Greg's the host, so. That's what yeah, I, but oh, many thousands Greg's opinion's of worth is... less than the rest of ours, so. That's what how many thousands of viewers are seeing, Sam. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, so I'm what? I've gained a life and passed the turn. <laughs> okay, I'll draw oh, that. Oh, Sam's having a think. Oh, I'm just drawing my card for the turn. There we go. That one tapped. Passed the turn. Mm-hmm. That dessert. It is a dessert of the true. Nice. Nice. Cycles for far too much mana. Oh, ben, do you want to show us that flooded strand while it's there? Sure. Oh, wow. Ooh. So pretty. That is if you would like to send us a uh, flooded strand from uh, any of you viewers at home, we will be sure to feature it in the games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sadly, we can't afford to send cards back to viewers, right? Greg, do we have a PO box? No, not yet. But if someone PMs me, I'll set I'll I'll set them an address. <laughs> Does anyone call it PM anymore? I thought it was just DM now. Like, I don't know. M me. <laughs> <laughs> and wow, you... that means something completely filthy. <laughs> yeah, <of course. laughs> fucking hell, Greg. Jesus. <laughs> uh, are you done, Ben? I am. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll play an island and a ruby medallion. Whoa! Go ahead. Ooh, sexy. Oh. So I, over, over the last couple of days, I ordered some more bits to finish my enchantment Go Lost version and the whole brand new deck as well. So. Little Shrine, <laughs> go. Good job. Oh, it's a tap land. Perfect. What am I doing? Play a tapped irrigated farmland. Mm. And. A skull clamp. Nice. My hand passed down. I'm just resolving a fetch. Fetch it real good. <laughs> God. Ben, ben, you need to get out of your modern mindset and just fetch. <laughs> yeah. Well, Especially just, on turn one and two. <laughs> just say you're fetching and then find it at the right yeah. time to cast the spell you want to cast. Yeah. Or someone announces that they're going to put your whole hand into your library and it'll be shuffled away and then you'll be really yeah. salty about yeah. it. You, you're giving us more time to flesh out a Leon Arbiter anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or uh, what's the, the rogue one? Oh, the, oh, I want that one. Opposition agent. Yeah, they're they're kind of pricey at the moment. Yeah, I want one for my rogue deck, but my rogue deck's not super serious, so I don't really want to pay that much for it. 
playing a tapped in Darth of Triome and passing the turn. Red loves right. a good Triome. Oh, I'm tapped. Yeah. I'm playing five colors. They're kind of necessary. <laughs> um, yeah. Mountain. Red will try that answer. Insane. Go. And tap. Draw. Command tower. Tower of command. Go. <laughs> oh, sweet. Another tap land. Hmm. <laughs> These are all terrible. Mm -hmm. So I'll just play a secluded step. Mm -hmm. And pass turn. She needs some red mana, Sam. No, I've got red mana in here. Oh. Oh yeah, I forget. Sam's basically playing a blue-white control deck, so. Probably. Or I've got absolutely nothing to do with red mana. Ooh, what's that from? I think it was FNM promo, maybe. Mm. Oh, good. Sam doesn't have a set of the wreckage. I can attack him. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Put two mana up. Mm -hmm. But you got to remember, my deck cycles, so there are additional cycle effects. Like, ooh. Uh -oh. Sam operates uh -oh. at instant speed as well. Mm. I'm still upset we taught uh, Lee how to play at instant speed. I think he's <laughs> forgotten again, though. <laughs> Uh, I'm a little bit confused now. I've looked up what artwork that is, Connor, because it's the Bring a Friend promo, and I don't know how I got it. Yeah. <laughs> don't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, come on. He, he wanted That's me to savagery. make that joke. D did Graham give it to you? He might have done it, so you know. Like <laughs> Maybe it was thrown in with something you bought from a store. Yeah, yeah it probably was. <laughs> <laughs> You're possibly <laughs> taking a friend to a shop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I want to say that wasn't savagery on my behalf. Ben basically, like, uh, yeah, I, I really didn't... soft, really <laughs> softballed me there. Just because yeah. he underarm bowled to you doesn't mean you have to wind up the shot and smash it into the next <laughs> county. Yeah, that's how you end up hitting five year olds with the forehead by accident. Mm -hmm. Was that was that passing turn, Ben? Yeah, yeah, it was. Sorry, Greg. You know, it's, it's, you probably said it. Yeah, lost amongst the banter, I think. I'll play a reliquary tower and pass turn. Mm. Oh, yes. It's time to make friends. Yeah. Uh oh. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to cast Return to Dust and Exile Skull Clamp and Ruby Medallion. Fantastic. You don't know, Greg might counter it. He's got mana up. It's I'm going to repeal my uh, Ruby Medallion. That doesn't counter it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it, it's better than countering. What does your commander even do, by the way, Connor? Um, so he's a T3. Mm -hmm. He's a human wizard. Sure. And I can pay Mardu and tap and sacrifice an enchantment to return an enchantment from my graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, he's an enchantment. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's not scary at all. I'm done. Uh, okay. As I said, I'm not sure I've got the the balance quite right on this yet. Yeah. And then Mardu, which is already like reanimator colors anyway. Yeah, oh, you're so... assuming I haven't. I've got those cards to hand. Cards we'll just have like to make sure his graveyard keeps getting wiped reunion out. and tormenting voice. Yeah. <laughs> Connor, I just want to introduce you to this little gem that I found. That it's six mana, but it, if you're bringing stuff back from the graveyard of enchantments. What's it called? Nettle Vine Bite. Nettle Vine Bite, yeah. I'm going to play a uh, Vizier of so the gross. Tumbling <laughs> <Sands>. <laughs> You stick it on your opponent's land and watch them cry. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Play a Boros Garrison and return a secluded step to my hand. Wait, is that in this deck, Ben? No, it's not in this deck. It's, it's in the enchantment deck. Okay. Uh, I'm tapped out, so I'm not doing anything to my next turn. I just need to step away for a second. What's a blue okay. guy you cast, Sam? Vizier of Tumbling Sands. Oh, yeah. I know him. That's standard all-star. Mm-hmm. I think he was part of a combo deck. Aren't you supposed to just cycle him? Uh, no. Oh, in this deck, you actually want to castle him. Cast he's a off. mana dork. Look at him. Well, he's not just mana. He's an anything dork. But then, yeah, you'll do your this garrison. wombo combo. Yeah, you, you get four mana a uh, turn. Is it my turn, Sam? Uh, yeah, sorry, I passed my turn. Uh, I thought you had, but I was, I was picking out a uh, Nettlevine Blight to show everybody. Um, I'm going to play a Tamiyo Collector of Tails. Neat. And I shall plus one, huh? Name a card. So name Academy Rector. You're just trying to go for the, the win. Uh, I'm just generating some card advantage. Um, reveal the top four cards. So we have Jodha. Sacred Foundry, Forest. And Academy Rector. No. <laughs> any of those, and they all go into my graveyard. Excellent. I think I hit something like two turns out of three once when I was using that. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're yeah. going great. You're up to six loyalty, right? Six loyalty, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Draw for turn. And spells and abilities opponents control can't cause me to discard cards or sacrifice permanents. All right. Yeah. And it's a good card. All right. Uh, go for the medallion again. Passing turn. And then we're I off to Connor land. Can't just walked away mid content. He did. He did. Oh, that's a shame. I shall I pause. Can't. I can't pause. Why can't I pause? <laughs> no brakes on this train, bitch. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I managed to, um, the, the blue-red deck that I'm putting together, I managed to put together for about £200, hmm. which is all for an EDH deck. Nice. What's the commander? It's Bruni Clad. Oh, the token guy. guy. Yeah. 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 Broody. Broody yeah, Clad. All really oh, tokens get haste. Beginning mm -hmm. of combat. Created 2-1. Blue Mia artifact creature token. Then you may choose a token you control. If you do, each other token becomes a copy of that token. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's the really cool token? Is it just things that it, you've copied with a Helm of the Host or a. Um... Well, uh, Helm of the Host is nuts because obviously you make a non legendary copy of Brudiclad and then all your tokens become Brudiclads that create non legendary Brudiclads each turn. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I'd all have haste. Um, but obviously, uh, Dark Depths in there. Mm. Ominous Seas to create eight eights. Yeah, um, so these things never change back either. No. No. Ah. You can change it to a new one each time. Uh, things like um, Zektar Shrine Expedition that gets you a 7 1 haste trample. Yeah. Uh, and it says sacrifice it at end of turn, but you don't sacrifice any of the copies. Um, so you just have. A whole army of seven one haste tramples. Um, just it gives it an alpha strike kind of win condition. Um, lots of copy effects. So like um, clones that copy your biggest guy on the field. Then I make a token copy of that, and then everything becomes that. That sort of stuff. So right mm -hmm. etc. Yeah, hey, I'm back. Hey. Oh, hey. Back. is it my go? Yes, it is. I just recast the ruby medallion. Sneaky devil. Mm -hmm. Let's go for a swamp. Then I'm going to cut for five. I'm going to have a Liliana's contract. Ooh. 
So and enters the battlefield, I draw four cards and lose four life. You don't have to sacrifice anything to cast it. Is that right? Yeah. That's that's an ETB. That's not yeah. yeah. ETB. So you, so you draw four, and then if you have four or more demons with different names, you win. So there's no downside to this. It's a, no, it's a card. you'll eventually win the game because of it. I'd like to go on the record and say that I don't have anything that could win me the game with this. You don't have four different named demons. I do not. Oh, that's I think, a shame. You know, I think you squeeze it in as a minimum requirement, even if you're only playing four, and, and you just happen to get it. You know. Maybe I should play that in um, Kerrick because I'm probably yeah. going to have four demons in that deck. Oh, anyway. I don't believe Connor. I reckon he's got like four changelings in his deck. Mm -hmm. And they are demons, yeah. Um, then end of turn, discard oh. a mountain and a ghostly prison. Ooh, wonder where that's going to come back in. <laughs> <laughs> if only I had a graveyard hoser. Mm. All right. I guess that's mm. over to Samwise. It sure is. Whoever Samwise is. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to pay four. Tap this to untap my garrison. Five, six to play Shark Typhoon mm. as an enchantment. How it says about... whenever you cast no. a... But d d <laughs> oh, okay. So Connor's draw four is fine, but my Shark Typhoon's <laughs> way too out of hand. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, because he was just going to count what the, the four spells that came out of his hand anyway. So. Uh, yeah, cool. Wandering for your old tapped and pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Draw. I will cast my tomorrow. Ooh, I wish I could counter that. <laughs> yeah, it says I have a window of opportunity. Yeah, strange. And then... Pass my turn once I put an ans uh, ancient tomb into play. Ancient tomb, okay. I'll play an island. Um, do I want a Mizzix yet? Probably not. I'll hold up the threat of pretending I've got a counter spell. Go ahead, Connor. Ah, one sure. Um, we have a luxury suite. Hmm. I'm going to pay three for Savin's Reclamation. I too have a luxury suite. <laughs> <laughs> Do -dun um, so I'm going to return target permanent card with CMC three or less from my graveyard to the battlefield. Ghostly prison. Then I'm going to cast again. Yep. And then I'm going to pass the turn. I'll untap and draw. All right, let's see if we can get this. Uh, What's Greg got up? Mystic Confluenced. Uh, one, two, three, four. Reconnaissance Mission. Sounds good. Whenever a creature you control deals uh, to a player, you may draw a card. And then I'll go to combat. And I'll swing at this Vizier of Tumbling Sands at Greg. For one. Are you? All right. Um, I will cast Fact or Fiction. Okay, do. And I will name. Connor. So the five cards Fierce Guardianship, Reigns of Power, Is It Signet, Hydro Blast, or Faithless Looting? What's Reigns of Power do? It swaps all of my creatures for all of someone else's creatures for one turn. It's an instant. Okie dokie. <laughs> And Hydro Blast? Hydro Blast uh, is a blue elemental blast that can target anything, but 
counter target spell if it's is red or destroy target permanent if it is a red. What? But I have red things. Yeah. Um... And there's an is it signet? There's a faithless looting and a fierce guardianship. I'm going to put the faithless looting and fierce guardianship together. And the other three? Yeah. Okay, I'll take the other three. Then that's a blue creature attacking me, Sam, so I'll take it. Yep. Deal one. And I'll Ouch. draw a card. Uh, da -da -da -da. Then I will pay white to cycle this secluded step. And then play this Desert of the Mindful. Neat. And pass turn. Tappy, untappy, untappy. Cool. Uh, I will activate Golos. Hmm. Right. Uh, look at the top, uh, exile the top three cards my cards of my library. I can play in this turn without paying their mana costs. Um, so I will cast Nekazar for free. He's um, mm. interesting. <laughs> God, good thing you used that count spell effectively, Craig. <laughs> What's the next one? Oh, do you, uh, do we so see them? These are both lands. So. Oh, so that's the only one you can cast, right? Yeah, 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 because I've already played a land for the turn. So. Um, wait, I, I'll get to draw two, won't I? <laughs> you will, yes. Yeah, that's good. Then I can kill it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I will attack Greg for three. Will you? Okay. Good. 36. Uh, then I will... Um, plus one Tamiyo up to seven. Uh, I'll put a name card first. I'll name Academy Rector. Uh, one, two, three, four. So we've got... Uh, Red Crypt, Crypt, Golden Town, Temple Garden, mm -hmm. and a Kazmina going to the grave. Yeah. Connor, mm -hmm. what's the card at the top of your graveyard? Return to dust. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Is that a bit better? You done, Lovely. Ben? Yeah, it's all good. Okay, I'm going to draw two and I lose two, right? Or do I only lose one? No, you lose two. Whenever you draw a card, um, you, it deals one damage to you. Yeah. All right. I'll play Steam Vents untapped as well. Watch total. No object. Oh, I sorry, I took two damage off of my uh, ancient tomb when I tapped it. All right. Um, I cast Mizics. Um, Past time. 
One sec. Draw two. These two. And mounting. Mm. Uh, sure. I'm going to cast the Lithoform engine. Nice. Then I'm going to pass the tab. On tap. And drop. Or two, Sam. Take two. Oh, wow. I'll do that. 38. Hmm. I'm going to pay free and cast Dismantling Wave. Ooh. For each opponent, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls, targeting Golos, Ruby Medallion, and a Lithoform engine. All right. What have you got out, Sam? What have I got out? Yeah. Vizier of Tumbling Sands, Reconnaissance Mission, and five lands. Okay. Just looking around. What did you target off, Connor? Uh, Lithoform engine. Okay. So I'm going to respond. I'm going to hydroblast Nikaza. Mm -hmm. Gain an experience uh, okay. point. And then I'll let that resolve. Then I'll expansion targeting the dismantling weight. Oh. Uh, sorry, so uh, dismantling so waves not is still on the stack. It's still right. on the stack, You're but more happen resolved. First. Right. So, um, Sam, I'll target the reconnaissance mission yeah. for you. Uh, Connor, I'll target. What did you target? The ghostly prison. No, uh, the lithoform engine. Okay, then I'll target the ghostly prison. Uh, All right. Target, so go off, get targeted. <laughs> yeah. In response. I'm going to pay three, tap again, sacrifice Ghostly Prison, yeah. return Ghostly Prison to the battlefield. You can't target itself. Yes, I can, because the sacrifice is in the cost, so it's already in the graveyard when you select your targets. No. Yeah, sacrifice uh, colon. You you can sacrifice it. To, you, you still need a target when you're announcing that, right? You can't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't. You could sacrifice the litho engine to get if it didn't target you could back no no yeah if it didn't target you could so the ghostly prison needs to die and then you could do oh okay but because oh, that's annoying you could target you could sack the ghostly prison to get something else back or well, i'll just put the ghostly prison in there then yeah, and yeah. then you can sacrifice the Lifford form thingy to get the ghost. Well, and then the form goes in. Yeah. Oh, you have to sacrifice an enchantment. It's in the cost. It says sacrifice an enchantment, not an artifact. Right. Yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah. Or you could do the Liliana thingy. Yeah. So now that's all. Well, next time I have priority, I will activate again. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's all off the stack. Right. Cool. So we're all clean. It's my main phase again. Back to you, Sam. Uh, I will play a... Oh, no, no. I'll tap Vizier to untap my Bor Boris Garrison. With that on the stack, I'll sacrifice Liliana's contract and put Ghostly Prison back on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, then I will pay two, three, four... Blah, 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 to play a 
Surly Badger Saw. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Surly Badger Saw do? It's a free free for four, four mana. So good. But you get to um, count. Whenever you discard a thing, it does treasure. a thing. Oh, it's it's a red um, waste not sort of thing. Waste yeah. not sort of thing, yeah. Um, but most of it is concerned of himself, so it's yeah. less powerful. The treasure bit's good. Yeah, the land part's very powerful, but otherwise, medium. Uh, play an Azorius Chancery returning Desert of the Mindful to my hand. And pass go. Pass go. Collect 200. Yes. Only 200 <laughs> grudge points. <laughs> I think Greg deserves the 200 Greg, uh, grudge points. Do I get them? No. Well, don't, don't worry, Greg, you've got them. <laughs> um, I am going to cast Mordropa. Mm. Uh, play a forest from my graveyard. Pay green and two life for two colorless for a dryad of the Elysian Grove. Mm -hmm. And play an island for my second land trophy. Nice. And, and then I will activate Tamiyo plus one to eight. Have a um, ultimate, by the way. Uh, name Academy Rector again. One, two, three, four. Um, we've got Omniscience, Nicol Bolas, Godless Shrine, and Stomping Ground in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. That's I, some. That's my turn. That's some cool shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you got a couple of blockers as well. Yeah. Hey Sam. Hello. Hey so. Okay. Right. Is it Signet? Tap that for a goblin electromancer. Nice. Goblin electromancer. Yeah. Past turn. Um, I'll do that. Cool. I'm going to cast Curse of Opulence. <laughs> Enchanting Ben. Oh, Whenever we attack Ben, we get a treasure. Yes. Oh, cool. okay. We're not likely to attack him, are we? I, I didn't think you needed to encourage people that much. Sure. <laughs> uh, let's swamp. We'll pay seven. We're a captive audience. That's us. Good so it enters onto the battlefield oh, under an a control of an opponent of my choice. Beginning of your upkeep, choose one that hasn't been chosen. Your life total becomes four, discard your hand, or each opponent creates five 2-2 two -two zombies. Who are you targeting? Uh, I don't have to tell you that. You can ask me who no, I intend to target, but I don't have to enters, put the target on. It ends. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah. Once. I'm not going to stop it from resolving. Okay. So once it's resolved, it's on Sam's control. Yay. So, and then it's Sam's turn. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Great. Then Sorry. I will pass the turn. I'm going to put dice on these to indicate that Which that one? is Sam. Uh, that's Sam. <laughs> he is the first player after me. And that's Ben, because that's the second player after me. Okay. So I untap. Yep. What, what are you going <laughs> to choose, Sam? Life four. Uh, well, you all get five zombies. 
Nice. The one that doesn't completely make me lose the game immediately. Uh, <laughs> draw for the turn. Uh, uh, five zombies. I wish they were enchantment zombies. Yeah, me yeah it's not broken enough as it is. So best to... I'm just looking for the correct zombie tokens. Oh. i got too many tokens. That's what I've got. No, actually, I do have zombies. Where is that box? There's a zombie. We've got the fancy zombies for dredge, so I might as well use them. I wish all tokens were double sided. Mm. Do, do, do. I'm counting your mana up, Sam. What's going to happen? Yes, well. Each player who has a zombie must sacrifice a creature. Strangely okay. enough, I didn't come packing that. Sacrifice a non zombie oh. creature, surely. <laughs> Gain control of all zombies. Yeah. You just want to attack Ben to get a treasure. Um, funnily enough, that won't really do it. Moldroff is in your turn, right, Ben? Do each of your turns, so yes. Mm. Each of your turns? Yes. So if you take multiples, it's even better? Yes. Oh, yes. Cool. Gives me a good idea for another deck. Is curse per creature that attacks, or is it one or more? Whenever enchanted player is attacked. Yeah, so I only get attacked once, don't I? Or I think so. <laughs> yeah, I would assume so, but if you could double check for me, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Curse of the opulence. Whenever they are attacked. Thanks, Greg. Each curse's ability triggers only once, no matter how many creatures are attacking the enchantment. There you go. Cool. Let's see. That, then that. And then that. Cool. Okay, so I pay. One, two, three mana for a Sahili Sublime Artificer. Mm. Yep. If you're coming with five, um, I'll pay two to cast Winds of Abandon. Targeting Connor's commander, which is going to trigger Sahili. You get to search for a basic. And I make a servo. I'll make an actual servo in a moment. Is it tapped? Uh, uh, yes. Then I minus Sahili to make the token I've just made a copy of Surly Badgersaw. <laughs> I pay two mana to cycle Desert of the Mindful, mm. which is discarding a land, so I make two treasures. Then draw a card. Um, so that's nearly there. Uh, 
then I attack Ben with my original Surly Badger Saw. Is it a free free or four free or? It's a free free. Um, I block with my two four Dryad of the Elysian Grove, so it doesn't. Got me a third treasure. Okay, so. They... Hmm. Yeah, so they bounce off each other. Yep. And then I tap my Vizier of Tumbling Sands to untap one of my double lands. I tap that and my free treasures to cast a Spell Pyre Phoenix. And when that that enters the battlefield, I may return target instant sorcery card with a cycling ability from my graveyard to my hand. So that'll be Dismantling Wave. Oh, it's coming back. And then that ends my turn. Wait, in your end step, Sam. Okay. I'll tap three. Cast for... So I'm floating a blue. Mm -hmm. Um... I'll cast um, Turnabout to untap all my lands. Okay. Gain a XP. For two blue, I cast Commence the End Game. Okay. Up to four. Um, can't be counted. Draw to a mass X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I get a six, six zombie army. I'll just put that there for now. That's the zombie army. And. Two extra mana and an extra XP. I will scour from existence Moldrifer. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Seems rather unnecessary, but okay. Oh, wait. I've got one of those untapped because I can use that blue. Says the man with omniscience in his graveyard. <laughs> 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 I mean, tapping it gets it back to my hand and I can hard cast the next turn, but sure. Oh man. Yep. <laughs> cool. Go ahead, Ben. Cool. Untap. Uh, draw. Play a polluted delta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. It's a lot of mana. Mm -hmm. It is indeed a lot of mana. Now what do I want to do about this? I'm going to minus three Tamiyo. Target. No way, what are you targeting? Uh, Kazmina. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh, I will... One, two, three, four mana for Kazmina. Mm -hmm. uh, I will minus two that. Draw a card, discard a card, and create a 2-2. Two -two. Um, I will discard this polluted bonds. And a 2-2 two -two drink. This cat piece will be a drink. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to pay six mana. Or mass polymorph. 
<laughs> what do you? What's it? Do? <laughs> yeah. Exile all creatures you control, then reveal cards from the top of the library and think of reveal that many creature cards, and put all creature cards within this way onto the battlefield. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Yeah. Now, do you want to keep that counter spell for omniscience, or do you want to counter that? <laughs> that goes off, I think, for me. <laughs> sounds pretty scary, though. Six, seven, hmm. uh, so. A little bit of um, drawing two on the stack. Yep. Um, How many uh, creatures in your deck? Rider. We're about to find out if it's seven or less. Rider. I've got no maximum hand size, so that's okay. Uh, Lynn Barla. That's it. Is that Keeper of Silence or the Preserver? Silence, yes. Keeper of Silence. That's it, sir. Do you cast them, or they just come into the battlefield? Into the battlefield. All right. X or less. Ten. Um, so these all come in. Um, Six. Oh, that's an idea. They trigger I don't think they do, or do they? Uh, I think they all enter simultaneously, or they do, do they come in the one same, at a time? They'll enter at the same time. At the same then, time, but then you choose all the things going on the stack. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but I don't know because Silvala says whenever a creature enters the battlefield, its controller may draw a card if its power is greater than each other creature's power. So that would only yeah. have one, wouldn't it? That only happen once because they are all in at the same time. That's what I thought. They will all trigger, but only one of them will have the greatest power. Yeah, yeah. So um, I will draw two of the turbo turb, 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 whatever his name is, and mm. then I'll draw one off of the uh, five five. Just tell me when you're about to get to your end step. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, play a land for the turn. Or another land for the turn of the user. Then I will. Oh, I've got the Ashen Rider. When it enters the battlefield, destroy target permanent. It's exile. Uh, exile target permanent. Um, so. Which permanent do I care most about? Uh, I will target Mizix with the exile. Okay, that's on the t stack. Yep. As will be any other triggers you have. Do you have any sack outlets, Ben? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I don't think so, no. Okay. It's worth noting that if you're responding to the Ashen Rider trigger, he doesn't have that planes yet. I don't have that what yet? The planes. Oh, that's true, yeah. I don't, because I haven't drawn it yet. Yeah.
Also worth noting, Kazmina has a passive. Yeah, I know that, that her ability. It's pretty okay. good. Is it you or just creatures? Spells my opponent's cast that target a creature or planeswalker I control. Got it. All right. Any other targets, Ben? Or are you done with um, your spells? No, I've got the draw two off uh, for the flip and the draw one off the Selvala. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to reins of power and swap my creatures with your creatures until end of turn. Okay. So I've got Jinga Texas. You'll have to discard down to nothing. Um Yes, cuz it's beginning of your end step, so I might oh. jack up. And then Mizix gets exiled, so back to the commander zone. Um, then you've got one, two, three, four, five zombies and a goblin electromancer. Isn't, isn't that an amass token as well? And the amass token, sorry, yeah. So he's got five TT zombies and a six, six zombie and a goblin electromancer. Summoning sick. No, they've all got haste on both sides. Oh, they get haste? Yeah, but I've got all of Ben's. A mono blue card? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all right. God. Okay, magic. <laughs> Can't make any assumptions now, Sam. Yeah, um, card designs out the fucking window. <laughs> if I have Tamio still and opponent's abilities can't cause me to discard, does that mean I keep all of the cards in my hand? You... No. No, it's your maximum hand size that's causing yeah. you to discard. Yeah, but it's an yeah. ability, even though it's passive. No, it's not. It's indirect. It's it's like how uh, damage. Um, what was it? Damage. Anyway, it's it's because it's not directly causing. It doesn't say make them discard. It's changing okay. the game rules, and the game rules are still valid. Yeah. Got you. Okay. Cool. Um, so I go to my end step. I discard down to zero. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, it's uh, your go. Yep. <sighs> I get... Now we've got our we've got our own creatures back. Yikes! Big yikes! How are you feeling, Seth? Three. Sounds not feeling. Miserable. Yes. How about you? I can feel it. Great. Do you know this card, Captive Audience, is based on Steve watching this channel? Um, yes, I should imagine it is. Looking on with horror as we all play dreadfully. Yeah, all of us. <laughs> I'm going to crack my fetch assuming it doesn't matter doesn't matter to me I'm going to go faithless looting mm -hmm. for two mana Electromancer. Am I trying? Draw two, discard two. So, gosh, that was fun. Your um, Electromancer is very much not on screen, by the way. Sorry. So. Play and oh, got a discard two. Discard an island and a mountain. Oh, I've got a reliquary tile, so I didn't have to discard my hand. Oh, God. <laughs> well, then you don't. <laughs> <laughs> just literally just realised that as I was going. Because I was trying to think, oh, what, what's stopping Greg from having that heart size? Yeah. Nothing's going to stop me either. I've got a reliquary tower too. But I, I do feel kind of sorry for the other guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I conceded in my head last time when Connor hit me with a you lose the game spell. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I was tempted to remove it from the game, Sam, but, um, you know, if you can cut 
To be fair, Sam, Jinga Taxis is going to make you discard your hand anyway, so... That's all right, then. As long as Jinga Taxis puts my life total to four, then we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, oh, I need to do three of those. There we go. Um, XL six cards, cast a fact, uh, not a fact or fiction, a dig through time. Okay. How many? Seven. And just confirmed, Invala stops creatures' activated abilities, right? Sweet. I can't even do the one thing I could do. I'm a little bit sorry, Sam. Does anyone have a sec out there on the board? No. <laughs> Two, four, five, six, seven. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. What? Don't you worry. Oh, you got it all under control of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you. I have such confidence in you that this will all resolve itself. It will be okay. One. Two. All right. Um, what are the biggest creatures toughness wise, Ben? Five five is my biggest creature. And oh. are there any other five toughnesses? <laughs> no, there are not. Okay. I've got a five four and a three four with four, uh, two three and a three three, yeah. uh, one and a one two. Okay. Overloaded Mesim Mortis. Four uh, damage to every creature I don't control. Mm -hmm. I'll swing at Ben with... Uh, not Ben personally. Um, let me think. You got... How much um, stuff is... Um, Tamiya. Tamiya on? Uh, she's on five loyalty. Okay. So, tough choices, hey? Not not too tough. Um, I'll attack Tamiya with uh, three two twos and a six six, and I'll attack uh, Kamina with the other three. Kazmina. Uh, okay. So the Goblin Electromancers among them. Cool. Uh, I guess I will block and kill the Goblin Electromancer then. All right. And that kills your... Uh, will I? Dude as well. Ashen Rider. Uh, I'm going to block the 6-6 six, six with the Ashen Rider. Okay. And then when it dies, I'll exile your Reliquary Tower. <laughs> <laughs> it can do lands, can it? Can. Um, Wow. Yep. All right. Past it. Uh, you didn't directly attack Ben, did you? No, no, I didn't hurt him directly. No. Uh, let's go for a swamp. Um, let's do that. Wrath of God. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to take five. I'm going to have a Court of Fire. Sounds like fun. So when it enters, I become... The monarch. Beginning my upkeep, Court of Fire deals two damage to any target. If I'm the monarch, it does seven damage to that. Player stuff. or permanent. Uh, beginning of your upkeep, is 
Yeah. <laughs> That's nasty. Then I will go to my end step. Hard from being the monarch. Go, go, Magic Sam. Untap, upkeep, trigger. <laughs> Gosh, look at all these creatures on the board. Whoop. I discard my hand. There's four cards going to the bin. Mm. I'll draw for the turn. I'll play this seven mana five five. Nice. What's he do? Uh, he is a seven mana five five flyer. <laughs> <laughs> that must have more text than that. It sure has more text, but none of it's relevant here. I can return it from my graveyard to my hand during my upkeep, and I can plane cycle it for two mana. Eternal Dragon. Strong. A seven mana 5-5. Five five. It is super good. <laughs> ben, where's all your should... permanents gone? All my permanents? No, Ben. Oh, oh they were in his hand. Uh, the, I just realised that the planes is in my hand that you told me I had to put back from play that I'd already played because... Oh, you could play that. He couldn't play that because he got his extra land off of Azusa and you took control of it before he had... A chance to, didn't you? I oh. haven't You were putting things on the stack. I had to respond to your, your stack. Yeah. But I hadn't played a land for the turn. Oh, the, okay. I thought that was your second land. you hadn't played a land at all, that's fair enough. Yeah. Pass the turn. Draw. Play a land for the turn. Uh, I will pay Wooberg for Bringer of the Black Dawn. Oh. So he is a 5-5 five, five Trample. Uh, so beginning of my upkeep, I can pay two life and chew to a card and put it on top of my life. <laughs> nice. And then uh, Black Black One, two, three Four children. Jeez. <laughs> okay, cool. Fantastic. The Shieldred. The Shieldred, the whispering one. Fuck your five five sound. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Makes me want to play my creatures out. <laughs> Is that all, Ben? I'm that is all. so glad I bothered to join this game. <laughs> Haymaker after Haymaker, Sam. Draw mm. for turn, play a Vivid Crag. I, I genuinely thought that that captive audience was coming at me, though. Um, I was trying to think my way through it, and they went, and so I'll target Sam. I was like, oh. Okay. Yes, I <laughs> boggles my mind as well. So. <laughs> Don't worry, Ben, your grudge count may be accelerating faster than anyone else's, but Sam's still got a large residual grudge count built up over time. Past turn to Connor. I'm just playing the cards in my deck. I mean, I don't know. Um, untap. <laughs> I will go to my upkeep. I will do seven damage to the bringer. Bringer is dead. Long live the bringer. But children could bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to pay five. something something top tier plays. Um, so I'm going to pay four, and I'm going to cast Agent of Erebos, which has Constellation to exile Ben's graveyard. Are you sure you don't want to hit mine? After Sam, so, don't so get greedy. Whether it or another enchantment, or whether another enchantment. It or another enchantment. So that's my oh, it's constellation. Yeah, you can still do mine after. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then I'll pay three to put a shield by faith on it. Do Sam's graveyard. Yep. Mm. 
Oui. Um, then I'm going to go to my end step and draw a card from the monarchy. Is Sam scooping? Uh, yeah, Sam scooped. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Thanks. Does that captive audience now in my graveyard? Yeah. Or, yeah. No, does it just go away? This is under Sam's control, right? Uh, no, you remove all permanents, don't you? Oh. Goodbye, captive so, audience. You're not going to give it to us. Find some other way to spread joy. Is your guy indestructible? I assume that's what that card says? Yes. I'm not going to the text. He's a 2-2, two -two. Uh, and this is whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you may attach shielded by favour to that creature. Okay, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What's his... 2-2. Um, oh, it's a 4 mana. Enchantment creature zombie. Nice. But it's your only creature? Connor? Is it my turn now, Connor? Are you still doing something? Uh, it's your turn. I passed to Sam. Oh, okay, so I wasn't sure. Um, yeah, no, Sam left the game along with the turn, so that's yeah. it. We're, we're over. No, I was just, I wasn't sure <laughs> that he'd finished his turn. That was all. Um, Uh, no targets, obviously, off the shoulders, which is a shame, but uh, um, what do we want to do here? I think we will cast... Uh, uh, an Oracle of Mogai. Uh, there is a martial arts on top of my library. I will play it for my additional land for the turn. Uh, we're being Ashiok Dream Render on top. Mm -hmm. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, potentially ten mana. Um, one taps for blue, that one taps for blue, 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 and three. Uh, to cast Time Reversal. We all shuffle our hands into our library and draw seven cards. Sorry, shuffle our hands and graveyard into our library and draw seven cards. And I'm going to fetch in response to it. Okay. Hands and uh, graveyards. Hands and graveyards shuffled into your library and draw seven cards. Mm -hmm. Any other effects, Connor? I suppose I should keep my hand in it until it resolves. But... Yeah. <sighs> Connor, are you there? So I was just fetching something from Melissa. No. Time reversal. You not not interfering. No, I will be shuffling my hand and graveyard into my library and drawing seven cards. Yep. Doesn't give you an extra turn or anything, Ben, right? No, it doesn't. No, it's only a five man as well. Does it get exiled afterwards? Turn as well for that. That'd be insane. <laughs> um. Yeah, it'd be like a time twister, right? <laughs> Uh, there is a steam vent on top of my library. Uh, that time reversal gets exiled. Uh, 
And then I'm going to cast Demonic Tutor. Wait up. Sorry, you draw in your hand first. Yeah, let me have a look. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> I, I hadn't looked up at the to see if everyone had drawn the stuff, sorry. I'll have to snatch the demonic tutor. Uh, and that does what, sorry? That gives me control of the spell. Oh, okay. So you search my library for a card? No, I search for my library. Okay. It's my, <laughs> oh, sorry. It's my spell now. <laughs> right. Wait, no, wait. Does that mean Greg searches Sam's library? <laughs> it doesn't exist. How could I? Because it, it doesn't target. That's the, all I was asking. Mm. Yeah. Because it resolves under his control. It then says you search your library. It says gain control of target spell. Okay. You may choose new targets. So... Because he gains control of it, it's him, not me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's on his stack, so it will self-target. You'd have to he'd have to gain control of you while you search and then put it into his hand would have to be like it says on opposition agent. Yeah. I didn't even need to show what I was getting, do I? No, you don't. Nope. Mm, then I'll get that. All right. Stick that in the graveyard. Anything else, Ben? Nope, nothing else. Untap. Draw. Okay, Mystic Sanctuary. I'll put an Ether Snatch on top of my library. Mm -hmm. I'll cast Mizzix for six. Mm -hmm. I think it allows you to cast off the top, correct? I can't cast that off the top, no. Oh, I thought Mizzix allows you to cast off the top of your library. No, sorry. that's Melek. That's the oh, other Melek. one. Melek, sorry. Melek, is it Paragon? Yeah. They're, they're both is it and sound very similar. So. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. the is all the is it can't, can't sound the same. Yeah, and I'm done. They're all like something with some Zs in it. The smarty yeah. pants. Mm -hmm. Um. So shielded happens, and these guys die. Yep. And I'll do seven damage to shielded. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Draw a card. I've got to attack you. You've even got swamps. Yes, I could have been hit. You could have had to pay two to do it, but you could have hit me. Yeah, I could have done. I, I was um, completely oblivious to the fact that uh, we were talking about the the monarch. Let's try agitate Greg. Greg, I'm going to try and put a torment of scarabs on the battlefield under your enchanting you. What does it do? Uh, at the beginning of Enchanted Player's upkeep, that player loses free life unless he or she sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. That's fine. I'll let it resolve. Cool. That is on Greg. So I'm going to take three a turn, roughly speaking. Mm -hmm. Yes. Three a turn, and yeah, unless you choose to do something different. I might uh, choose to play, do something. Play like planes. Yes, swamp and a planes. I'm going to play a trespassers curse under the battlefield. Whenever enchanted player enters, uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under enchanted player's control, that player loses one, and I gain one. Mm -hmm. Who are you targeting? I'm going to enchant Ben. Mm -hmm. 
to tap my luxury suite for a soul ring. What's in the graveyard, Ben? Uh, Sheldred and Demonic Tutor. Okay. Um, ben, I'm going to pass the turn oh. and draw a card off the monarchy. Okay. Uh, revealing Khan on top of my library. The artifact, Khan, the artifact disabler. On the great creator, yeah, the artifact disabler. Uh, seven mana, cast go loss for the second time. How much mana do you have left untapped? Seven. Okay. Uh, I will activate go loss's ability. Mm -hmm. uh, exiling Khan, uh, Exotic Orchard, and Eerie Ultimatum. That's a shame. Um, Uh, I will play the exotic orchard. As well. uh, have you resolved your fetch? Hmm? What fetch? Put your fetch in. No, he's um, he's go lossing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So have you resolved go losses search? Oh, go loss searches. Yes. Sorry, you're right. It does. Because so you either have to put that on the stack so yeah. that they come out, and then you do your land. Yeah. Or you could fail to find if you want. But you could, you can't play that land until you have found your land from Golos. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah, sorry, I, I forgot he fetches. I, I don't play him for that reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Golos is a May search, so if you wanted to make sure that the Khan was in the mix, you could go loss. Um, I could do it in response to his. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. You can do it. That's that. what that's what I assumed he was doing because I assumed he wanted Khan, but yeah, also... yeah it doesn't seem like a good idea. So. Um... Figured I should make the boy maintain main game state at least. No, I just completely forgot that he searched. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's the reason I play him. So. Yeah. Um, revealing on top a bloom tender. Mm -hmm. um, play the exotic orchard as my land drop for the turn. Um, and then I will play a breeding pool untapped for my second land drop. Yeah. Uh, cast a Khan, the great creator. Wait up. What's he come in with power um loyalty wise? Four five, five loyalty with a plus one. Well fierce guardianship it. Uh okay, yep. It just gets counted, yeah? That's just going to go in the bin, and then you can eerie ultimate it back to the battlefield. Yeah. In theory. Well, he's got the... Oh, he just is still on top, isn't it? So he can't do that. Um, yeah, let's cast eerie ultimatum to get shielded and can the great creator back. Oh, Ben, did you lose a life and I gain a life when Golos came in? Uh, I didn't know. Let me remind you now, because I forgot. Yeah, and, and Sheldred as well? If yeah, when Sheldred happens as well. Cool. What's your life total, Connor? Uh, 37. And Ben? 31. Um, I'm going to minus two Khan. You're going to search in your special board of 
Yes, I am. Wonderful cards. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's the, the casting cost of the uh, three enchantments you've got, Connor? The three curses? Uh, one, two, and four. Four, okay. Um, I'm going to shoot up a ratchet bomb and cast it. Then I will attack Connor for two with an Oracle of Moldire. You gotta pay two, don't you? Uh, oh, he's got Ghostly Prisoner play, you're right. I cannot yeah. do that. Ah. Need to attack Greg. I could do, but he's not the monarch and he's got a blocker. Um yeah, that's me done then. Plus then. Before my turn, I'm gonna mm -hmm. scour from existence Skjoldred. Exile? Exiled. Go up to six. You should have got spell sky. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Draw for turn. Hey, look, it's Sam's arm. Hey, Sam's arm. Sam's arm, yay. Woo, that's what we're all here to see. Mm. Tap for three. Play a flux channeler. It's 2-2, two, two. whenever I cast a non-creature spell, proliferate. Mm. Play a Is It Boilerworks bounce back the Mystic Sanctuary. Mm. And pass turn. Um. Oh, wait, I had to take three at the right at the start, right, Connor? Yeah. Or discard or sacrifice a creature. Oh, it's discarding an option. Yes. I'll keep that in mind. And tap. Upkeep. I will do seven damage to Ben's face. Uh, oh, you can do me again. Oh, actually, wait. I'm going to do Khan. Or Khan. No, I'm going to do Khan. <laughs> okay. I thought oh, I was wait. Doing... Khan meant I couldn't tap the um, signet, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's any target, Ben. Oh, okay. That's fair. And draw. Let's play a plane. That would have made my play slightly different, but that's cool. I'm going to go for a... Four, five, six. Martyr's Bond. Mm -hmm. Does. Whenever it, whenever it or another non-land permanent you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a permanent that shares a card type. But... Wait up. I might effort snatch that. Proliferate. Proliferate. And I get a Martyr's Bond. Um, I'm going to pay four mana and return to dust, exile Martyr's Bond and your Is It Signet? Actually, no, Ratchet Bomb. Okay. okay. Um, each opponent sacrifices nope. a. It's put into a graveyard. This is exile. Okay. Can I suck it? No, I can't take it. Yep. My toy. <laughs> Have it back. No sharing. Um, okay. I'm probably done for the turn then, so I'll draw a card off the monarchy. Mm -hmm. oh. There's a Lindell with Volt on top. Oh. I'm sure that's dangerous for some reason. Uh, I'm going to go to attack. In certain uh, situations, it could win the game. I'm going to attack Connor for five. You're going to pay four. You... I will do. I will do. 
Is that all the wreckage? Neat. Uh, I will respond by activating Golos. Sure. Cards exiled. Cool. And two, three, four, five, six. You, oh, uh, on top of my library is Jason's archivist. Uh, so, yes, I will search for two basics. Mm -hmm. Yep. Monster Battlefield Sacked. <laughs> Helps him cast Golos again. Does. Else. And planes. Uh, I'll play this windswept teeth. Uh, I'll cast a great henge. Ooh, sheesh. I'd like one of them. Uh, I'll tap for two green and gain two life back up to 31. Yep. Uh, I'll then add blue and blue to cast a dissipation field. Whenever a creature deals damage to you, return it to its limited hand. It deals damage to me. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, I'll cast Lindell's Vault. Uh, five. Five. Should have killed Ben. <laughs> It's got this weird reflex where I say Sam after targeting anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kill Sam. Kill Sam. <laughs> Kill Sam? Yeah, I'll keep him in that order, putting that on top. And I've only got one land drop, which I've played. Um, hmm. Didn't do that ideally, but never mind. Um, cause, yeah. Mind it, it probably doesn't matter. I'll cast the Bloom Tender that everybody knows about. Bloom Tender. And I'll lose one and you gain one. Oh, gosh. And this is a creature I draw a card. And get a plus one counter. And you've got two creatures there, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, Greg. Yeah. Connor, you've got any, any creatures? None? Zero. Um. Okay, let's have a little fun. I'll cast a run Oath of Druids as well. Oath of Druids <laughs> does, it lets people sack creatures. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, if they control fewer creatures than an opponent, they may reveal top the cards from the top of their library until they reveal the creature card. Uh, that player puts that onto the battlefield and the rest of the revealed cards. Oh. Graveyard. Oh. Is it a graveyard? So, how many creatures do you have, Ben? One. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. 
I could sacrifice a creature, but that will only get me down to one. Mm -hmm. All right. Connor doesn't have any creatures, so this is going to deck him. Pretty much. Yeah, oh, you may. You don't have to. No, I've got some creatures. Yeah, they may reveal cards from the top of the library. All right, untap. Take three. Oath of Druids, no targets that work for me, so I'm going to go straight to my draw step. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Ral. Get a counter. Uh -oh. uh, I'm running out of dice, am I? Yeah. What allows you to sacrifice creatures, um, Greg? Uh, Connor's enchantment. Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah. Um, it's a four. But only during your upkeep. That's all. Yeah. Saying. And I'll, yeah. I'll scry one with Ral. So plus two. Scry. Top. A Mystic Sanctuary and put A for Snatch on top. I'll pay two and attack Connor with Flux Chance, uh, Channeler for two. Take mm two. -hmm. I'm now the monarch. I'll draw the card and pass turn. And tap. See, I was going to do seven to Rao, but instead I'm going to do two to Mizzix. Are you? Oh. You're going to do seven to Mizzix, right? Uh, two. It's only seven if I'm the Monarch. Ah, uh, okay. It's two if I'm not the Monarch. Fair enough. And then Greg's got more creatures than me, so I'll do the Druid's trigger. Get an Archon of Sun's Grace. Mm -hmm. And draw a card for turn. So it's Flying Lifelink 3-4. Pegasus creatures you control have Lifelink, Constellation. Whenever an enchantment ends, they put under control. Create a 2-2 two -two white Pegasus with Flying. Yeah. And you don't have any enchantments in that deck, right? No, no, none. Hmm. I'm going to play planes. Let's do four. Let's have a Mangara the Diplomat. Life link to four. Whenever an opponent attacks with creatures, if two or more of those creatures are attacking you and or planeswalkers you control, draw a card. Whenever an opponent casts a second spell each turn, draw a card. Mm -hmm. A five. Oh, yeah, that was a problem. Why well, he was wasn't playable in death and taxes and legacy, he was too expensive. Yeah. He belongs in EDH. I'll have again Arcane and Weaver as well. Then I will pass the turn to Ben. You just gave him a target for Druids. Yeah, that's fine. Um, draw a card off. Great henge. What did you cast, Ben? Uh, Stigma Lasher came onto uh, entered the battlefield. Oh, from the. Uh, oh. So I draw a card uh, off the Great Henge and put a plus one to one count on it. Yeah. Um, and you lose a life and I gain a life. Yes. Do you cast off a of Vote of Druids? No, you put it into play. Okay.
Uno va a multiplicar. Uh, I will tap blue tender for a red, a blue, and a green. Yep. Black. Black, that's five. Six. Seven. Nine mana. <laughs> In Garrick's wake, destroy all creatures you don't control and all planes or you don't control. I'm going to Peretic Ritual mm -hmm. and Aether Snatch the In Garrick's wake, and I'll do two damage to Connor with uh, Ral. And I gain two here, two here, two here. Okay. And then everyone else's creatures and planeswalkers die. I thought Rao was when you copy stuff. It's when you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell. Oh. Goodbye, my creatures. I barely knew ye. <laughs> and I will gain two life off the Great Henge. I'll end up losing a lot of the curse. But two. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven left. Uh, for a null stone gargoyle. So you lose one on Arcane one. Yep. And then a bringer of the Red Dawn. Four, five, uh, six reserve cost. Wow. Untap target creature and gain control. All right. Fun, fun, fun. Yep. And I gain, uh, I draw a card off each of those. And they both get plus one to my counters. What's the red guy called again? Something of the dawn? Bringer of the red dawn. Okay. Then I shall pass my turn. Uh, on your end step, actually, no, don't worry about it. No. Do I have to use the Oath of Druids trigger? No, it's a bane. Okay, then I'm going to go straight to draw step. Um, I play a Terramorphic Expanse. Uh, what do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five. So bring is a six toughness, and what's the other no, one? He's a, five. Oh, he's a six six, yeah, he's a six six. And the other guy is a uh, five six with flying. With and flying. Yeah, that counts as the first non creature spell each turn. Okay. That counters. The not first non-creature spell cast each turn. Cast. Not copied. Whenever the first non-creature spell each turn is played, counts for that spell. There you go. What's his name? He's a... Nullstone, Nullstone Gargoyle. Yeah. Cool. It's pretty neat. So, I'm going to minus Raoul. Mm -hmm. to copy the next instant or sorcery. Mm -hmm. So if I cast a spell and wait up, backtrack. If I cast a spell and Raoul copies it, 
that mm -hmm. copy is going to happen before the Nullstone cancers the other spell. So I will get my copy, but not the spell. Uh, no, because you don't cast that copy, do you? It gets placed on the stack. Uh, yeah, as a, so as a the copy would resolve, yeah. and the original would be um, counted, I think. Okay, then I'll go for that. That's my understanding, Connor. I don't know. I think you're on mute, though. Um, yeah, so Greg casts the spell. Active player trigger goes on the stack first, doesn't it? And then non-active player. So Rao copy goes on the stack, then the counter that spell goes on the stack and counters the original before the copy resolves. Before the copy can copy it? Or no, the, I get a no. copy, but it... Yeah, the copy doesn't target at all, so it just gets copied. Okay, so I will do it. Um, I'm going to street spasm to burn out the bringer, just targeting the bringer. because it's. Uh, so what does that do? It does X damage to target creature without flying. I don't control. Okay, so it deals six damage to it, yeah. Three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. Why didn't that get countered? Hey. Why oh, didn't that get... Because the original gets countered and then the copy resolves and kills it. Oh, have you minus two to copy yeah. off of Rao? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got you. So, and then I will target... Oh, oh wait. I lost three at the, my upkeep, too, to Connor's spell. So I'll I'll do two damage to Connor from each of the Raul triggers off that. And then I, that, what four in total? Yeah. You just take two, not four. Okay. I get plus one plus one on my proliferates. And that goes to the graveyard. And I'm going to go, I'm already the monarch, so I'll go to my end step and draw a card. Step, I'm going to sword Snellstone Gargoyle. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah, because it's in his turn, so it's not the first. There's been spells cast, so yeah, yeah that works. I, I was just double checking uh, as well that it wasn't for each player, it's just in that turn, so that's okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Upkeep, I'm going to do two damage with Court of Eye to Ben's face. Yep. And draw a card. What's your face on, Ben? Eight. Okay. Seven, four. Uh, it was source of power shares, wasn't it? So I gained five. Uh, life equal to power. Yes. Power, four, or oh, five? Yeah. Yeah, because it's plus one for Count. Pay five for Court of Ire. Yep. It's back. I well, become the monarch again. Uh, I'm going to cast Cruel Reality. What does that do? Uh, enchant player. At the beginning of Enchanted player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature or a planeswalker. If if the player can't, he, loses, he or she loses five life. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I didn't do my Oath of Druid's trigger. Oh, okay. Oh, well. I've missed it now. I've drawn cards. Um, so that's going on, Greg. It's going on me. It's going on, Greg. This is war. This is war. War, we're declared. Uh, then I will just go to my end step. Mm-hmm. And draw a card off the monarchy. Uh, I will tap the two and gain two life. Three, four, five, six. 
Sun. Mana for Garrick Apex Predator. Does it resolve, Greg? Yeah, it resolves. Cool. You know it's got plus that destroys target planeswalker, right? Yeah. Plus one, just for that. All right, thanks. I think I'm out of the game, guys. I was really shocked when you cast Rao without your thing to copy. Oh, you've already cast that this time, haven't you? This game. What thing to copy? The expulsion expansion or whatever it is. Yeah, I've already cast that. But it's not like a, it's not a useful card, Connor. I mean, I mean, I've no, got... I was just sat here waiting for you to combo. Yeah, well, I've got two cards in hand. There's not much I can do. Yeah. Connor, how many cards have you got in hand? I've got two. Central 15 mile is to... Dream Render. Exile Graveyards. The target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard and then exile each opponent's graveyard. Sure. I will minus one him to mill Connor for four. I'll Terramorphic Expanse in response. Mm -hmm. And then, because I'm going to lose my graveyard, right? Yeah. Twelve. Have you got that much mana left after having cast Garrick? He's always had tons of mana. Get loads of lands. <laughs> That's like twenty-three mana or something. He's playing Golos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two mana. Yeah. Jesus. Um, first steam vents untapped. Hit more man. Wait. 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 And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, white and six, sorry. Three, three, four, five, six. Yeah. For Blazing Arbor. Nice. Then I will cast, uh, then I'll draw a card and it's a plus one plus one counter. Then I will pay two and cast a Hushbringer, which is a Torpor all on a stick with a life flying and life link. Mm -hmm. Or a card that goes plus one, plus one count. Um, I lose a life, you gain a life for each of those, Connor. Uh, two? Two, yeah. Cool. And. Uh, why is there a one? Oh, there. There we go. Um, then I shall pass my turn. Uh, end of turn. I'm going to pay four, sacrifice the treasure to cast cast out. And the battlefield. I'm going to exile the Great Henge. Great Henge is exiled. Eight. 
Why did you do that at the end of my turn, not in Rogue's turn? Because I was waiting to see what else you cast. Mm. Yeah, okay, no, I was just, just curious because you could still have waited on it. It was tapped, so it wasn't doing anything. I was just curious. Or or if you got it before he got any of those creatures. To it's also it. a when cast out enters the battlefield, exiled, so I have to resolve it before I target. Mm. Yeah, true, true, true. So Greg might counter it. Oh, yeah, sorry, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm trying to play around getting it onto the battlefield yeah. because... That, that, that makes sense now. That does make sense now. I, Greg can ask me what I'm targeting, but it doesn't mean he has to trust me. No, that's right. So going to my upkeep, can I resolve Oath of Druids before I go through the sacrifice options, Connor, with yours? I believe it's um, you like. Um, doesn't it go in player order going onto the stack? So then yours will all go on my stack first, then Ben's, so Ben's will resolve first. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've so, got two creatures anyway, so... Yeah, so I'll, I'll target Ben. I'll, I'll do my oath. Is it reveal or is it... Reveal cards from the top of your library, yeah. Okay, and then they go to the graveyard. They go to the graveyard, yeah. Goblin Electromancer. There he is. <laughs> Poor goblin electromancer, because I think he's going to die. Yeah. <laughs> so I sack him, and then I take three from the other thing of Connor's that's targeting me. Yeah, so cruel reality, sacrifice creature, planeswalker, which I yeah. assume you've done, yeah. and trespasser, lose three, sacrifice a creature, or discard a card. Yeah. I've done that. Now I go to draw. Uh, play a Sheevan Reef. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What creature do you sacrifice, Greg? What did I sacrifice? The Goblin Electromancer. That should be the only card in your graveyard because Ashok exiled all graveyards. No, the others all went to the graveyard from um, Oath of Dreams. Oh, they, oh, sorry. Yes, they did. You're right. They, they did. Yeah. My apologies. I can't attack you right now because of the blazing icon, right? Correct. And Garrick's not. Is that, that Garrick the next one? Yeah, that's that Garrick. Garrick. On six. No loyalty. Okay. But he's a fancy one, so it's hard to tell what he is. Yeah. What has Connor got? Nothing. Ghostly prison. Ghostly prison. Yeah, that's going to harm me a bit. I bet you've got the monarchy, don't you? Yeah. Hmm. Question is, are you going to be a target? Um, it depends whether you want me to do seven damage to Garrick or not. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I, I guess probably so. Ben's coming out with an alarming range of things. So Ben, what 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 are the other blockers? There's a Hushbringer, there's a... what's the blue one? Uh, that's Dissipation Field, which says whenever a permanent permanent deal damage to me, return it to its opponent, to its owner's hand, sorry. Oh, so I might not even want to hurt you, but yeah. Planeswalkers on the other hand. Yeah. That's the Ashiok that is hurting Ashok's a minus one, and it's on four at the moment. Correct. Yeah. So Garrick's on six. It's on six. Yeah. All right. Then I'm going to Jaya's Immolating Ferno. Mm -hmm. um, I'll blow away Ashiok and the Archon and... I think the Hushbringer can stay, or can it? Yeah, I'll nick the Hushbringer as well. Which damage are you doing? Um, 11? 11? 11 to each. So then I flux, so I get another counter, and then I get another counter for the Mizzix as well. Um, I'll pay two for Ghostly Prison and attack Connor for two. 
will take two. Mm -hmm. You are the monarch. I am the monarch. I draw a card. And I pass the turn. Cool. Untap. I will target Greg with Oath of Druids. And then I will target Mizzix for two damage. Oh, Connor. I said if you left it, I'd get rid of... Uh, Garrick's there still. Druids doesn't trigger, though, because it checks on resolution, doesn't it? Or are you resolving Oath of Druids first? Is that what you were saying? Doesn't matter. Greg's still got more than me. I've still got two creatures. He's only got oh, one. Sorry. Yeah, I thought you were killing the one creature. You're right, sorry. Um, yeah, Greg, I said I'd get rid of it if you left me as the monarch, so I could do seven damage. No, oh, well. If I'm not the monarch, I only do two. Yeah, that's okay. Um, God. Our end. Fresca's Contempt. Well, that was a wire removal. <laughs> Court of Ambition. Mountain. Liliana's Contract. Windscarred Crag. Walls of Basilica. Walls of Signet. Swamp, the Perform Engine, Plains, Exquisite Blood, Toxic Deluge, Gravebreaker, Lamia. Oh, nice. And then you get another card in the graveyard. Which like for a card and pinch graveyard. Um, probably that. Probably that. I reckon I'm put faithless looting in my graveyard. That's a good idea. Uh, then I will draw a card for the town. So I'm going to pay one and a red. Go faceless looting. Go two. And discard two. White, white, and one. Play an Aura of Silence. Which one's that? Artifacts and enchantments spells your opponent's cast cost two additional to play. Ah, cool. Yep. And sacrifice it to destroy target artifact or enchantment. Um, and play an Art Path of Ancestry. And I'm going to pay seven for my commander. Then I will pass the turn. I will choose not to use Oath of Druids. And pull it up. Isn't our shock dead? Um oh did you kill it with that spell? I killed three things, right? Oh, sorry, I thought you. I only heard two targets. My no, body. sorry. Yeah. Okay, so that's dead for So I didn't realise that. Yeah. Um, I was leaving the Garrick for, for Connor. Yeah. Sadly. Is she just against one? I'm, I, I, I will. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Connor, do you have any artifacts on your side of the battlefield? Do I? I have a soul ring. Oh, okay. Um, no other artifacts, no. I got some enchantments. You've got plenty of those, yeah. Fortunately, the greatest thief isn't interested in those. Uh, I'll cast a Dak Faden. And I will draw two cards and then discard two cards. Hey, I just did that. 
Okay. Is Sam still here? Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> Yay! Patient Sam. Yay! An hour since I got knocked out of the game. Yay! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> an hour and a half since I was dead on board. Yay! Sorry, You'll be back, Sam. <laughs> yeah, about Please. half ten. At least you're in the comfort of your own home. You're not sat in my house waiting. Yeah, if, if I were in your house, I probably would have like knocked the table over and left. Loaded up the PlayStation. Finished the been games. Yeah, I've got Tony Hawk's, Tony Hawk's remaster, Sam. You could have been playing that. I could have been. You probably been is. some rad, rad kick flips. Nine mana or oh, Golos again. Right. The G. Search for a land this time. <laughs> did you not use your um? Oath? And did you cast an extra two? Um. Over so, right? Yep. That's you. Um. Yeah. Fine. I'll... And you can lose one, and I'll gain one as well. Okay. Sam, why aren't you doing a running commentary on the game for us? Yeah, it'd be so interesting. Uh, because I resent this game with all of my being. I mean, that's a hot take, but you could have said that <laughs> <laughs> over and over again. Yeah, I figured that might get a bit dull. <laughs> I hate this shit. I hate this shit. I hate this shit. I'm going to activate Golos. <laughs> Big shock. Two, three. Uh, Solemnity, Lavinia, and Heart Fiend of Depravity. So I will go to cast Solemnity. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go to cast Lavinia. And yep. then I'll cast uh, Heart Fiend of Depravity. Um, is it cast on Golos? You're playing them without cast, uh, without paying the mana. Do you still have to pay the additional two for silence? I don't believe so, but I'll check. Is it? I think you have to pay the two. It's an addition. I can, not that I have to. Because mm. the alternate, because it's mana cost plus additional cost, less cost reductions, and I think the mana cost would be zero plus additional cost two. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Ah. Uh. That's annoying. It's just like if someone played a, a counter spell, that like a mana leak on your spell. Yeah, because I was thinking, uh, yeah, because I have to pay him for omniscience as well, wouldn't I, technically? Yes. So That's actually what I found it on. I found it on a discussion about omniscience. But... But, but it's only enchantments and artifacts, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so I can't cast a solemnity, but I can cast the other things. Yes, and you'll lose two and I'll gain two. Yep. Uh... So Archfiend does sacrifice things, right? At the beginning of each opponent's end step, that player chooses up to two creatures he or she controls and sacrifices the rest. And the other guy's Lavinia. Which means you can't cast spells with converting mana costs greater than the number of lands you control, and you can't cast spells without paying their mana costs. Oh no, it gets counted if you cast it without paying mana for it. Yeah. Um. 
There are no planeswalkers in play, are there other than mine? Just yours. So yeah. kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Three, three beast with death touch. I'm just going to preemptively kill Golos before you fuckers can and uh, gain five life. <laughs> Game response. <laughs> Yeah, we'll kill him in response. Go ahead. So the solemnity didn't land, eh? Nope. Well, that's kind of good for me. Don't worry, Greg. I'm looking out for you. But the Lavinia, the uh, Lavinia doesn't I help. Have the man, right? Got to kill Lavinia mm -hmm. next. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's me. All um, right. You've got two creatures or, yeah. I do have two creatures, yes. Yeah. All right. So my upkeep, Oath of Druids triggering, well, re resolving first. You're targeting me, yeah? Yeah, I'll target. Um, and that is on well, top of your sacrifice? Although I could target Connor, he's got two. Yeah, I, I will sacrifice afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I. Who's got the most mana? Ben, you tapped out, right? I have one uh, of any color. I'm going to target Connor, actually, because I think. Yeah, I'm going to target Connor. Connor, is that okay? Yeah. Yep. I can't right. stop you targeting me. I know, but if Ben resolves, he could kill one of your creatures before the target happens. No, I'm not doing anything, so feel free yeah. to resolve it. Okay. Snapcast a mage. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, good. That's great. Um, so Snapcaster comes in. Mm -hmm. I will target Magma Quake with Snapcaster Mage. No! I want to activate again. <laughs> Are there any creatures with flying? There is. Archfiend. Archfiend. Arch That's okay. So Snapcaster will then die. I'll sacrifice it, and then I'll take three to Connor's other thing he's hurting me with. What a bastard. Don't worry, Sam. I'm getting there. We'll have Greg to keep you company in no time. <laughs> I'll draw a card for the turn. Great. 52 turns to go. <laughs> I've got to kill Lavinia before I can do anything else, really. So bye bye, Lavinia. Um, I will play an island for turn. And I'll tap that and one. And that. And then what's the biggest toughness on non flyers? We've got four. And four and Dax four as well, right? Yeah. So I only need five. I only need four mana. What's five? Uh our things are five, four flyer. But it flies. Yeah. 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 So it's um one, two, three. Four, five, six. Six is right. And I'm going to kill my own Flux Channeler if I do this. So do I do it in another order? Yeah. Well, if you do three, it gets rid of Lavinia. I, I want to kill Dak and the... Um, kill all those creatures. And the, the Grave Lamia thing. Grave Lamy is four. Yeah. I just don't know whether you can bip Dak for one anyway. If you do three and no, I don't that gets everyone else. Don't think it helps. I'll take Dak Faden with Flux Channeler. Oh no, will I? Yeah, why not? Let's see what happens. 
Um, it's a what? Two two. It's a two two. I'll block with the Archfiend of Depravity. I thought he might. Um, in uh, in that case, <laughs> I'm going to magma quake. So one, two, three, four, five, six for four. So each non flyer and planeswalker will take four. Yep. I'll go up to 14 now. Oh, Nav gets exiled. He dies. And I pass turn to Connor. Right. All the planeswalkers die, Ben. Oh, do they? Yeah. Uh also, I think you only had, had to pay two mana for that. For the spell? No, I didn't have any... Um, I don't have Mizzix in play. Oh, you don't have Mizzix in play? Okay, fair enough, yeah. Um, Greg, I think you're the Monarch. I'm not the Monarch. You're the Monarch. Oh, nice. Well, am I? I mean, didn't you attack me or...? You didn't get it back. No, he didn't. I don't think he got it back. Okay, then I'm the monarch, so yeah. I draw that. Then I'll do my <laughs> untap and my upkeep, and I will bit Ben in the face for two. Um, right. I, and this is an optional, so it has to go back to your hand. Yeah, that's fine. I want it to go back to my hand. Yeah, I know you do, and I'm just saying, you know, it's not optional for, for future reference. I can't actually choose not to do it. So. Yeah, cool. Woohoo! Um, then I will upkeep and draw. Mm -hmm. I'll put down a concealed courtyard. Where'd uh, you put it? Couldn't see it. Oh, sorry. It's, no, it was... I'm kidding. It's okay. <laughs> it's concealed. It's concealed. It actually wasn't on shot, though, so. Uh, yikes. Two, three, four, five mana. Four quarts of Aya and become the monarch. Wait up. And cast it. You're casting it, yes. That's okay. It's floating on the stack. Yeah, I'm going to Blue Elemental Blast it. Goodbye. For so long. <laughs> yeah. He can get it back. That's the annoying thing. Mm -hmm. So tap half of Ancestry for red, white, black. One, two, three, six. I have my commander. Then I will. I forgot to do freaking Oath of Druids again. What a fucking idiot. I had one creature anyway, so I don't think you had. I had zero. Oh, okay. Um... I'm gonna pass that. Okay. End your turn. I'm going to tap for Bidden Orchard for blue and give you a spirit corner. Okay. In response, I'm going to Aura of Silence, Sacrifice, Destroy your Oath of Druids. Okay. Ooh. Gosh. And who's the monarch right now? Is it Greg? It's me. It's Greg. <laughs> Wonder if we'll use this attack step this turn. How many cards you got in hand, guys? Two. Zero. Ben's going to get killed by that one spirit. Yeah. Going to pay three mana for a wheel of torture. <laughs> What's a wheel of torture do? Um, kind of like the rack. Oh, great. Fun, fun, fun.
fewer than three. Yeah. Yeah, get cards back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, gonna cast an Academy Rector. Oh, he got it finally. Jesus, he's been mentioning that all game. It's been in my hand for a while. I haven't been sure if I've had any decent enchantments without it anymore because the Omniscience is gone, obviously. And but there might be some good ones in there still. Blue um, and one. <clears throat> um, for Jace's Arco list. <clears throat> Bless you. 10, 11, 12, 13 mana. I thought you were counting the cards in hand. <laughs> uh, uh, No, I wish I had that many cards in hand. Uh, you have lost two and I've gained two. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, I need to keep uh, track of that as it happens. Yeah. Yeah. Um, half my turn, I guess. Here's Greg. All right. So this is going to be fun. Um, I guess I'm taking, what's the text on the cruel revival-y thing? Um, so beginning of enchanted players upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. If that player can't, he or she loses five life. That's five life. Um, and the other one I can discard a card for, right? Beginning of enchanted players upkeep, that player loses three life unless he or she sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. I'm going to discard a card. Um, but first I'll take the one from only having two cards in hand from Ben's thing. Then I'll take the five, so I'm down to 11. Then I discard a card. Oh, I forgot to do my attacks. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've gone straight for my attack step so many times because I'm like, well, I've got fuck all in hand. Just That's right. I missed my Oath of Druids <laughs> triggers multiple times in a row. So I did as well. <clears throat> but until... So I wasn't sure I wanted to do it because I wasn't sure how many creatures were left. <laughs> All right, I play land, mm -hmm. pay that. It's a Jace, Vrin's Prodigy. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Play Mizzix. No. Pasta. Pass the turn, eh? You've only got two creatures, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. And upkeep, is that your trigger, Ben? Upkeep? Uh, for, yes. So, yeah, you take one for each card less than three. Cool. I'll take three. Draw a card. So I'm going to pay Mardu. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sacrifice the Curse of Opulence. Targeting uh, Liliana's contract. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lose four and draw four. Mm -hmm. Pay three for an idyllic tutor. Was I still the the monarch? Yes. Oh. Then I drew that card. 
Um, let me get Eldrazi conscription. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On the spirit. Oh my god. Um. Six, seven, eight, six, seven, yeah, eight. Drowsy conscription on the spirit. Mm -hmm. I will go to combat. Mm -hmm. I will declare it attacking Ben. What's its annihilator? Two. Two. I see. Um, does it trample? Plus 10, plus 10, trample and annihilator two. So it's 11, 11, trample. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so I will sacrifice a land. And a uh, Academy Rector triggering the Academy Rector. Hi, Academy Rector. Do you still have that enchantment? Yeah, the displacing one. Yep. Yep. I will put a burgeoning onto the battlefield. <laughs> nice. I don't know, I'll probably just fail to find because it doesn't do anything. So It's an extra thing you could sacrifice later on. Um, yeah, but the spirit's getting bounced and the overarching conscription disappearing, but yeah. Well, he gets things back. <laughs> he does, for now. Um, so yeah, I'll take 10, I guess, and return the spirit to your hand. It's 11 if you're not blocking. Oh, 11 then, sorry. Bye, Spirit. Is that 16, Ben? 16 indeed, yeah. Um, Getting low. I'm on 11. Sam's on dead. I'm going to pay a red and Vandal Blast destroying Greg's signet. Waste of a spell. Yeah. I'm having fun though. Isn't it an instant? No? Sorcery. Sorcery. All right. Uh, I'm going to pay two and cast Greater Oromancy. Mm. So other enchantments you control have Shroud. Enchanted creatures you control have Shroud. Then I will pass the turn. Oromancy as superior. Oh. <laughs> Your hand's pretty flush now, isn't it, uh, Connor? Uh, two cards. Two cards, ah, uh, because you drew a four, so I thought you had more. Uh, yeah, I, I put a land down and cast a couple of spells. Yeah. Um. I miss Sam. Yeah, where's Sam gone? Where, where is Sam? Uh, I guess I will cast my commando for the third time. <laughs> Come on. 
I'm up to time four, Ben. I'm, I'm on time four. I will activate his ability. Uh oh. And this round of lucky dip. What'd you get? I will cast a Vorinclex. Oh, oh, you lose one and I gain one off of Golos yep. and Vorinclex. And... What's the other spells? Uh, Thalia, Heretic Cathar, and a Wooded Foothills. Uh, I am going to wheel with Jace. And in blue, blue. Wheel with the Archivist. Who's yep. got the, what's the most cards? Two. Two. I've got two. Ben, have you only got two? Yep. Okay. Got two. Two's better than none. Yeah. I'll cast a soul ring <laughs> off of the floating blue. Um, then you... I will move to attacks. Is the archivist a sack trick or is it just a... No. What? It's Baroquen. Baroquen. Yeah. Um, I will attack Connor. Four, five, thing, two, and giving Greg a spirit. Yay! I've got a spirit. I'll take five. That's my spirit. Nine. Not long for this world. <laughs> Pass the turn. My turn. Uh -huh. um, I, I moved my vivid counters up here because I don't think they matter. Mm -hmm. There's there's at least six of them, but yeah, I'm sure that's enough. Right. Was... So I've keep. I've got to sack two creatures. Is it? My two. Well, because of uh, cruel and the other thing, right? Or I could just well, take three from the other thing. So um, cru yeah. yeah, cruel is sacrifice a creature or planeswalker. Yeah. And then Torment of Scarabs is lose three life unless you sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. Okay. So you can do non-land permanents. Okay. Or discard. Um, I'll first go with Jace. I've still also got the one life from your artifact, right, Ben? Or is it gone? Uh, still there. Still there. So I'll, I'll do the Jace draw discard first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Take yeah, you take damage off the wheel of torture. So I discard a polluted delta mm -hmm. um, to that. I'm going to sack this elemental. Oh, that flips Jace. So Jace has now got a five on him. Okay, I'm going to take the three. Go down to eight. Go to my regular draw step. Fun, fun, fun. Um, play a gutter snipe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna minus three Jace. Hammer off a dig through time. Mm -hmm. Get oh, oh wait before I cast the dig through time. I might cast this turn. I'll cast Don't forget stuff. the Vorinclex triggers, Greg. Sorry, what does Vorinclex do to me? If you um, tap a land, it doesn't untap during your next untap. Yeah, and this is my last turn, I think. So I'll cast Sahili. Was that? Oh, yeah. Um, Sahili starts with five, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, interesting. Um, so yeah, do the dig. 
けれて Just for two mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so first I've got to get a spirit off Sir Healy, or a salvo, rather.、Um, that stays the same. Everyone takes two.、Mm -hmm. And I get two of these cards. I wish I could flash out four demons. How many cards in your library, Connor? Don't know. Plenty. Thirty-five. Mhm. So Vorin Clux does this stuff even if he's dead. He's no, dead. they still work on tap. Yeah. Okay. Lands. For a turn. What's his toughness? Six. All right. So I think I need that one. And I guess I'll go with that one. So I got those. These lands all done. Those four are untapped.、Mm -hmm. um, I shall pass the turn at that stage.、Uh, have you got three creatures? You need to sacrifice. I've got, I've got to sacrifice one of them, do I? Yeah, yeah. sacrifice two creatures because the arts into、yeah. the practice. Yeah, I'll sacrifice the Sahili creature. It only applies to me in my turn, right? At the beginning of each opponent's end step. Yep. Cool.、Um, so, yeah, I'm going to lose one for Greg's thing. Greg, I think you draw one for the monarchy unless someone else took it off you. Sure. Thank you. Sure.、Uh, let's do this and get this out of the way. And、um, path to exile Vorin Clex. Yeah. But planes just got detained. One, two, three, four, five. And cast a sphere of safety. <laughs> Put down a forsaken sanctuary. Then I will. Did you take damage for cards in hand, though, Connor? I took one. Yeah. So I was searching for a path. Um, using Gen, I'm going to sacrifice Liliana's contract. Mhm.、Mm、Get back War of Silence. Mhm.、Mm、um. Yeah, that's fine.、Uh, I'm going to use War of Silence to 
Pip's go loss. Yep, kill the loss. Then I'm going to pass the turn. I guess I'll cast Golos again. I'll cast as a response. I will cast Fact or Fiction. Mm -hmm. uh, and allow Connor to choose. So, Meteor Shower, Disintegrate, Mystical Tutor, Cackling Drake, and Mob Rule. You see those five? No. What do the two red things do? Well, it's three red things. Uh, Meteor Shower does X plus one damage any way you choose amongst any number of targets, creatures, and players. Disintegrates like a fireball at one target, but if it dies, it's removed from the game entirely or ah. exiled. So it's an X red. Are they both sorceries? Both sorceries. There's Mystical Tutor, there's Cackling Drake, you know what he does, and Mob Rule uh, gains control of either all creatures for or greater power, or for three or less. I'll put time. Mystical Tutor in one pile and everything else in another pile. Interesting. You're going to kill me before my turn. Corner. Hmm? Are you going to kill me before my turn? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. You really don't want me to have Mystical Tutor. Well, I'm kind of hoping oh. you'll take the, take the Mystical Tutor and tutor up a counter. All oh, right. Well, I don't want the, that badly. Um, so everyone, sorry, everyone takes two from the Fact or Fiction, and I get a servo. I'll bin the Mystical Tutor and take the other cards, and then I'll allow Golos to resolve, and I get a servo. Okay. Uh, I'm going to search for a land. Bring it onto the battlefield taps. And you take one and I gain one. Yep. Do I take one? No. That's just uh, oh, I do. curse on It's him. just my special <laughs> arrangement with Ben. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I will activate Golos. <laughs> That's a... um. Instant speed thing, it's not sorcery speed, right? No, it's an instant speed thing. Yeah. Um, exile the land that I can't play. I will cast Urabrask. Mm. Lose one, I gain one. Yep. Uh -huh. Oop. What's Uro do? Uh, gives all my creatures haste. Um, your creatures all enter the battlefield tapped. Okay. Hey guys, I just got back from solving world <laughs> hunger and finding a cure for cancer. This game must be done by now, right? No. <laughs> uh, weird. Urobras just came into play. Yeah. Sorry, Sam. No one's playing a Torment of Hailfire, so. Yeah, no one cast a Davriel. Even if they did, someone else would just counter it, right? What's a Davriel? Um, that's the. He says, at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has one or fewer cards in hand, it deals two damage to them. Oh, okay, yeah, of course. I know. Force of discards, too. Yeah. Um, so I'll cast those.
So Sam, it's interesting that you've solved world hunger and cured cancer, but chosen not to share that with anyone. It's very selfish um, of you. Yeah, I mean, that's just what I do. What's your life total, Connor? 26. What's your life total, Ben? Eight. So I'm going to force Connor to discard a card. I have no cards in hand. Okay, uh, I can see that. I'll force Greg to discard a card then. Instead, <laughs> I'm going to Urza's Rage you for 10. For what it's worth, Connor, I wasn't the first one. I see. Um... First take two from the gutter snipe. Yeah. Are you casting it for 10 uncountable or just casting it? 10 uncountable. Well, it can be counted, can't it? Oh, no, it can't be counted and the damage can't be prevented. Yeah, that, that's what I was checking. Yeah. Um, do you like to Jace's Archivist in response? I could do that, yeah. I'll Jace's Archivist in response. So that's still on the stack. Got to just double check that hand. Okay. Yeah. Uh, discard two cards. I've got six. Oh, okay. So you're giving Connor a draw six. Yep. Damn it. I was hoping that I was going to draw enough cards that I wasn't able to uh, draw anymore. <laughs> um. And you dead? I believe I am dead. Yes, I don't have any other answers. So yeah, I am dead. Okay. Yay! Before I could attack Connor, which was well, uh, I had a you, suspicion. You could have let me attack Connor at least. Yeah, exactly. I probably it would have been expensive to attack Connor. You were running out of mana. Uh, it would only been two. Attacked you with two creatures, which would have done you know nine damage to you. It would have uh, been useful for him. So you'd have had to pay nine mana per attack. Why nine mana for that? Because of sphere of safety. Sphere of safety, yeah. This, uh, this extra eight mana I'm not going to get uh, to use, right? I didn't realize that. Yes. And you had great auromancy as well, didn't you? Yeah, so I think you untapped with four mana, Greg. Just five mana because one's a boiler works. Ah, uh, okay. Four lands. All right. Sorry, I should and say. Which curses are relevant still, Connor? It's the two that make me sack a creature or a um, so the cast out and trespass well, I guess cast out's still there. Trespass is curse. It's, if it's enchanting player, does it die? It's exiled, isn't it? No, because it's not on your battlefield, it's enchanting you. So I think it's got no longer got a volley target and falls it's, in the graveyard. It's fallen yeah. off if it was on him. So you got the revival, the the cruel thingy. So cruel reality, at the beginning of Enchant Player's Upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker if they can't, he or she loses five life. So one of these guys, and then uh, the three, the one for three life, I can discard a card, right? Yeah, or sacrifice a non-land permanent. I'll discard a desolate lighthouse. Okay. Um, so 26. 24. 24 now. You got her sniped. Okay. Play a flooded strand. Minus Sahili. So this is a gutter snipe as well. Yep. Plus Jace, um, your commander. What does that do? Um, he got minus 2, minus 0 until my next turn. Draw for turn. Oh, I should have drawn for turn before, but yes. All I was right. going to say, how are you activating Jace? I know. Um, I'll sack my Flooded Strand, go down to seven life, get a land. It's got to be a blue one. I'll just double check. I don't think I've got a, a really cool blue-red land. I do not. Okay. So four life per spell I cast, hey? Um, a lava burst you for 14, Connor. Plus What's that 
take 14. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, plus four for the um, gutter snipes. A 14. And I get a dude. Does that resolve? Uh. Mm -hmm. Next one. Uh, fanning the flames with buyback. I'll take a, a ping. Take four for a sorcery spell. Uh, for another sorcery spell. What's this buyback cost? Three. Um, so wait up. Down to six. It's red, red, X, buyback three. So 15 minus three, 12 damage to you from the spell. I got, get it back in my hands and does X to you. So yeah, I think I'm dead. You're dead? Yeah. And then it was, I'll dominate your commando for the rest of your life. Sorry, I was going to put Curse of Exhaustion on your next turn. <laughs> Nice. And overwhelming splendor. Wow. It's over, Ben. I, I was literally one card left in the library. You guys had dealt with literally every threat in my deck. Oh my god. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> try to get the game won, and just one of you would wipe the board, and it's just like, seriously? Yeah, that's my exile in graveyard. Yeah. Wow. I still got a fearless stack of library left. Yeah, and I think the problem was as well, a lot of the kind of half little kind of interaction combos that helped me win the game got exiled from my graveyard as well. Yeah. And I saw them at the same time, so I couldn't close it out, unfortunately. But uh... oh. There was a stage there that I was really brutally out of resources to. <laughs> yeah. Connor making a sacrifice every turn and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'd have got around to actually hitting him if you got you hadn't wiped the board every single turn, Greg. <laughs> you got to do something to stay in the game. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't coming at you. That was the thing. That was a frustrating thing. It's like, yeah. you know, Connor was the one who was slapping curses on me, and I thought, well, just take him out. But every time I filled up the board to do so, you cleared it. So, good old second place. Mm. 